Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. My name is Alyssa. And my name is Daniel. Our daughter's name is Charlotte and we are the Foley family. Our small family of three is making the big move to the beautiful New Zealand. Follow our journey and learn more information about the reasons and processes that got our Midwest family of three to move over 8,000 miles to the land of the Kiwis. On this channel we will make content following our journey from Missouri to New Zealand and everything along the way as we are newly new, new zealand. zealand hey guys welcome back to a video we're so excited to be able to film this one outside it's been a gorgeous day been out at the park with charlotte doing some super fun things um hopefully you guys can hear us okay the birds are chirping and the wind's blowing but we wanted to test out the new lapel mics before we got anywhere with them and hopefully you guys are hearing us all right but yeah. today's video is Today's video is the top three things and experiences we want to have when we move to New Zealand. Um, just want to say ahead of time, we greatly apologize if we butcher any of these names. We will, of course, learn um, as we get there, but start us off. Um, so first thing I want to do when I get there is, of course, we are going to be living in Papamoa, which is a beach town. Um, so, of course, visiting Papamoa Beach, the very first thing I want to do to seeing how it is. Um, it was rated number four um, best beach in New Zealand. So that's kind of cool that number four is in our town, as well as visit all five of the award-winning beaches in the Bay of Plenty area where we're going to be living and just kind of see the differences um, from town to town for those beaches. So excited for that, even though it's going to be winter-ish winter -ish. in New Zealand. Hopefully we'll be able to spend some time out there. Yeah, so for me, number one, um, and I, this is the nerdy side of me coming out, but, uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, of course, has Hobbiton. That's where they filmed some of those Hobbit scenes with the houses in the hills. Um, there should be some pictures coming up here shortly of what, what they have to offer, but I'm excited to see it because I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not as crazy of a nerd as some people who are really into it. I've already told some people that we live only an hour away from it. So it's a quick like, commute. Send us pictures. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. We'd love to, but I was surprised when we first found out kind of we're going to be living in Papamoa. I was like, well, how far away is Hobbiton for that? One hour. That's it. So that's definitely going to be one of the first things I want to go do. And we probably will, whether she wants to or not. So tell them about the tour where you eat all the food. And yeah. Stuff. So there's multiple different ty types of tours. It's like, um, there's a three hour one where you go and you can just kind of see, they, they give you a tour of kind of how it works and stuff. And then there's another one where there's a breakfast tour and then there's a dining tour that's like 200 New Zealand dollars per person, but it bad. sounds so worth it because you get to tour all the homes and then that huge dining banquet table that they have kind of back in those times mm -hmm. in the movie, it's filled with food and you get to eat like kings. It's pretty cool. So it reminds me of like, uh, I went to a show one time where you ate like a whole turkey or a chicken, like with your hands, yeah. like dig in that kind of feast. Kind of barbaric, just like Lord of the Rings yeah. time. So we're, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's the nerdy side of me coming out though, yeah. for sure. Uh, so the second place I want to visit, I'm going to butcher this, uh, Mount Monagui. Mount Monagui, I think. Ish. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, so that's super close to our town. Um, and I've looked up some pictures and things on what you can kind of do there. And it looks like there's stairs to where you can hike literally to the top of the mountains. And when you're on top, you're literally in the clouds. And then you can turn around, go back down and go to the beach. So I think that's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. It's going to kick our butts a little bit. Oh, yeah. have to hydrate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just... And that's one of the things I love about New Zealand so much. I mean, it's, you see everything there, glaciers, beaches, mountains. So just being able to go to a place and see the mountains and the beach and hike. That's I'm excited for an that. easy W, easy win. It's going to be hard for me though. I'm going to be the one with the backpack in Charlotte in it, hiking up a mountain. And that's <laughs> <be okay. laughs> going to make me tired. Uh, my second one is Lake. I'm going to pronounce this one wrong too. Lake Tapo, Taupo, close enough, close enough hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully the comments don't attack me after this, but um, it's beautiful. We've seen some pictures of like clear blue water. You can see right to the bottom, it looks like. Oh, yeah. And I see uh, on their website, there's kayaking and all sorts of other activities. Snorkeling, so snorkeling. Like um, we are not blessed with the most clear and um, beautiful water places for us. Like our rivers, not very- Just a little mucky. <laughs> yeah, a little bit brown. Um, not as beautiful as we'd hope, or even the lakes are not that great. Um, I'm not trying to bash Missouri at all, but just the pictures I've seen, I, we are so excited to see that. It's that lake looks beautiful. Just look it up and maybe we'll have some pictures too. So one good thing about not, or about being able to swim in the lake 
is no sharks. No which sharks, really nice. yeah. We've uh, seen and read a lot about some of the sharks in New Zealand. So. Yeah, we have. Eek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so my number three or something what I want to do in New Zealand is go see the city life. So we will be near Taronga, which I believe yep. is like the closest city-ish to us. Um, just see how their culture is. You know, walk inside their stores, see their little stores that they have, hear their live music have their food, just really experience that city life and yeah. meet some of the locals. So, yeah. We have no idea what to expect. We, we pretend no like idea. we've researched and Googled everything and have some kind of understanding. And people ask us all the time and we go, well, we won't know till we go. Um, but we are so excited to see oh, what that's yeah. like. I mean, we don't know how different, how similar. What kind of music they have, what yeah. kind of music they play. Food, <laughs> food, what kind oh, of foods yeah. they have. Oh, man, I'm, food's going to be big for us. <laughs> we're a li- we're, I would say we're a little bit picky. A little. A little bit. But we, so, like, we, like, we like everything. Yeah, we're excited to try those new things. And Absolutely. Yeah. What's your number three? My babe? number three, my last one, and I'm going to get so much crap for this from you guys, I'm sure of it. Um, I know we're going to one of the most beautiful countries in the world, but I'm like I said earlier, I'm a nerd. I like Lord of the Rings. I like video games. I like baseball statistics virtual reality i like virtual reality <laughs> um there's a place called the cave in papamoa that has a bunch of virtual reality like driving simulators and game simulators and it looked like it had a pool there pool tables um i'm a nerd for spots like that we've got a couple here in mid missouri in columbia and jeff city that have bowling and arcade yeah. games and that kind of nightlife fun that's the thing that i like i'm, I'm such a little geek about it that i, I couldn't turn that down on my top three list you guys are gonna be like really you're going to the most beautiful country in the hey, world but and it will be in the winter reality? so yeah, oh, that'll be one of true. the cool days we right. can do that cold and rainy we'll go to a virtual reality simulator that's yeah. i'm gonna get crapped on for that aren't i <laughs> so something else we kind of talked about and we've asked each other this all the time what's something that we're most excited for what's the number one experience that maybe or sometimes we're just excited to experience New Zealand's going to offer Zealand. for us that we won't have here. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go? you can go first. So mine's just kind of generic, um, and I kind of mentioned it earlier, but really just seeing what the culture is, um, getting immersed in the culture yeah. as much as possible. I mean, so many people have told us that if we go to New Zealand and we treat it like American culture and we look at all the differences, um, it's going to be hard for us. So just yeah. going there and being open and – trying things in New Zealand way. Super excited about that. Um, I've heard great things about their local farmers markets. So going and getting that fresh meat, those fresh fruits, vegetables, um, experiencing that. And then of course the food, we're both big foodies. We are foodies. For sure. So to a a, a fault, if we're honest, but (laughs) yeah, that's what I'm most excited about. And then of course, just being able to experience a different country with my family and Yeah. yeah. And making it ours, making it our own kind of experience. Exactly. Mine is, um, and this is, I don't know. It's different. I, I, there's a baseball league in Taranga. Well, tell them how you used to play I baseball in college used in to play, high school. Yeah, I used to play baseball in high school and college all the way from five years old. Um, I've been retired from the game for five or six years, but oh, they have an adult baseball league in Taranga. So I'm going to try. I've already reached out to them, and they've said they'd love to have me, and I'm going to try to get back in the swing of competing and playing baseball. Uh, slow pitch softball was not for me. Yeah, and we don't have we don't have any baseball here. No, right? Not for adults. Not not an adult recreation league unless you're like really really good, which I'm not really really good. I'm decent, but um, so I'm looking forward to that. Getting back into shape and then being able to compete and pitch and baseball and be a part of that. And they they have four teams in their league and a couple fields, so it sounds like it's kind of growing. It started in 2015 and it's headed in, in the right direction. Yeah. And I want to be a part of it. I'm excited. So. Getting back into something I love that I thought I'd never be able to again. That's a big, huge draw for me experience We're excited to watch you too. Yeah. Hopefully it'd be a good way for me to meet some moms and stuff like that. Yeah, it's part of being a part of, yeah, it's part of the community. So you can make friends. Hopefully I'll make some friends. But also we have huge news. Uh, We found out the day that we're moving. We purchased our tickets for the flight. So we are leaving here June 4th, which is actually the day we're having our daughter's first birthday party. Yep. So we're done. We're having our family clean up and then we're going straight to the airport. Yep. We're supposed to arrive in New Zealand June 6th, 6th. at 8.55 in the morning. So. so that means that we will be arriving the day of Charlotte's birthday. So she will be one year old. <laughs> we'll have to get her a cake or something. Right, one year old <laughs> in New Zealand. So but, yeah. it's coming up. We've got, I mean, it's May 1st right now. 
So we got a month and a couple days before we yeah. are all packed up and we're out. But we're hope, excited. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or anything, again, don't hesitate to reach out. Absolutely. Anytime. We put our email down on the YouTube. So if you guys have any questions or comments or things you want to mention to us that you think might be worth our time, we read the comments you guys make. But if you if you want to get a little bit more deep, by all means, yeah. email us. We can't promise Message we'll get to me it very on Instagram, quick. Anything. Yeah, Instagram. We've we've been posting on a lot of stuff. So yeah. we appreciate your guys' support, and hopefully, we can entertain you and kind of show you what life's like moving yep. from Missouri to New Zealand. Excited to show you the beautifulness of. If that's a word, beautiful. Beautifulness. The beauty. <laughs> the beauty of New Zealand when we arrive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. See you guys.